Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to control your heating system from the MyGenie controller and thermostat. There are three versions of the MyGenie and the one that you have installed will be dependent on the type of heating system you have. The system is made up of the main controller and a room thermostat. The single channel version typically is used with combi boilers and there will be one wireless room thermostat along with the main controller. You can identify the model from the bottom left hand corner. The single channel is a T714R. Next we have the dual channel controller which is used when you have stored hot water as well as central heating. The system has one room thermostat and the main controller is a T724R. Finally, the multi-zone controller which is normally used to control multiple central heating zones as well as stored hot water. The model is a T744R and the system typically has more than one room thermostat. You can make ad hoc changes to your central heating using the wireless room thermostat. The top of the screen shows the ambient temperature in the room and below is the current set point. To change the temperature, use the up and down arrows. When the set point is greater than ambient, a flame symbol appears and the boiler will fire. If your system is set to auto, this change will last until the next period is reached in the schedule. If your system is set to manual, the change in the set point will last until you make another change. If you want to make a change for a defined period of time, press the boost button and choose the time and temperature you require. The thermostat also has a preset button that allows you to toggle between preset day and night times as well as off. Moving on to the MyGenie controller and pressing any button will illuminate the screen. In this demo, I have a two channel system with central heating at the top and hot water below. With the heating zone highlighted, Pressing the home button will show you the mode that the heating is set to, in this case, auto. Clicking the center button lets you change between the different modes. Once the changes have been made, click the home button to take you back. As well as altering the set point on the room thermostat, the plus and minus buttons on the main controller can also be used to advance the period. This is indicated by the double chevron symbol. The same can be done for the hot water to toggle it on or off. Pressing the home button when the hot water zone is highlighted will allow you to select the mode from auto, always off or always on. To make changes to the schedule, select the zone with the up and down buttons and then click the center button. Here you are setting different temperatures at different times throughout the day. Click on the period to edit and use the up and down buttons to set desired temperature and time. Save the changes by pressing the center button. Every day can be set differently if you choose, but there is the copy days function that allows you to copy the schedule across multiple days to make programming easier. You can also add events to the schedule should you require more. The new event will appear in the appropriate place in the schedule. Events can also be removed if necessary, and the schedule type can be set to either 7-day, 5-day, 2-day, or 24-hour. That's how to set up the central heating schedules. Now let's have a look at systems with hot water. Highlight the hot water zone and press the center button. Programming is similar to central heating, except you're setting on and off periods rather than temperatures. The left and right hand arrows let you choose between the different days of the week and there are also the same functions at the bottom of the menu for copying days and adding and removing events. If you need to change the time or date on the system, this can be accessed from the settings menu. Use the up and down arrows to make the changes and confirm by pressing the center button. To make sure the system automatically updates for daylight saving, ensure the DLS option is set to enabled. So that's how to control your heating system with MyGenie. For more information, head over to the Drayton website and don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel, Drayton Heating.